gonna end badly. Okay, yeah. well, well. <laughs> it's gonna end with you and that guy's camper. Yeah. One, right. two, three. It goes to the left. It goes to a mountain that we cannot see called Mount Olive. And this is Bow Lake, correct? We come out in this environment and just by being here we screw it up a bit. We walk on plants, you know, and so on and so forth. So we try and be custodians of the environment. And so when we stop, we'll stop on viewable areas. We won't stop and walk on anything green. And you'll see along the trail as we get higher, you see places where people stop and there's no vegetation there. Because mm -hmm. people just keep walking out. And then they just walk on vegetation without thinking. And if you come back, you know, a week later, you'll find that some of that vegetation has actually died because some vegetation is very sensitive. So try and keep that in mind. Some of the um, like cryptogamic uh, life forms here, um, um, up on high alpine areas and so on. really good group. Super excited for the next five days. Almost there. So it's the end of day one. Just winding down now. Uh -huh. I split uh, probably quarter cord with firewood. Splitting area with my airdrop logs. Just winding down. Dinner's on, I think now. Uh, I have cold soup waiting for me. It's good. Very excited for the next few days and feeling really good. So it's day three and we've finally got some good weather on St. Nicholas. Um, we're planning on either surfing, navigating or going to the point behind it, which is all of the glacial lake here from the meltwater, filled with sediment from the glacial till. Have some interesting alpine vegetation. And uh, yeah, it's like minus two out here, but with the sun, it's quite warm. Get ladybirds. Ladybugs? What do you guys call them? Ladybirds. Um, <laughs> ladybirds? Yeah, the ladybirds, yeah. yeah. And, um, Is that the same as the ladybug? Mm -hmm. Yes. I've never heard that. And they come up here in the, literally in the millions. You see them on the glacier. I don't know what they're doing. Oh. Something crazy. Crazy <laughs> ladybird sex thing. But, um, um, and then you get uh, moths that get stranded up here. And then you get birds and they hop around. And you can get ravens that come up. And they're picking off the insects and the and the spiders and the, you know the moths and so on. So you get this little, and the foxes come up and they they scavenge the dead birds and so on. They get blown up here. And right. Yeah. And so it's this little microsystem, micro ecosystem. Those, uh... Yeah. 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 So that's Mount Olive there with generating all that terrible weather. And that that's north and then south is farther off. Right. Okay. And this is St. Nicholas right here next to us. Okay. What's that glorious thing over there to the west? Aisha. Aisha. Good morning on day four. Yeah. Planning on doing up Gordon today. Got up about half hour early. And uh that's a beautiful picture. Oh I just disappeared. Yeah. How'd you get the highlight? I'm never gonna get it now. I'll have to bring uh, it out in post. To... <laughs> What's the...
layers in the ice cliff. Uh huh. The annual layers. So at the end of each summer, you get a dirty layer on the snow that gets covered in winter snow. Even with the snow, it gets compressed. So you can just see how thick the, uh, the winter snow. Right. You can see how much snowfall you got. Oh, it's fantastic snow. Thanks for lunch, Kevin. <laughs> 3,156, plus or minus six meters. That's perfect. Yeah, it's 3,150. Yeah. What's that in... Uh... <laughs> Real units? I don't know. In fathoms? Do you want that in fathoms or furlongs or what, what archaic system do you want? Um, uh, well, it can happen in a wide-up. Yeah, you can walk over an edge without knowing it. And I've been in situations, the first time that that happened was in Australia, ice climbing in a place called Blue Lake up in the Snowy Mountains in winter. The Muddy Mountains from what I hear. <laughs> and, um, and, and we popped out and we walked along and we were at the top and we didn't know where the edge was because it was a whiteout, worse than this. So we had to take a piece of rope and keep throwing it ahead of us <laughs> to see. What equipment would be really good to have now for the descent? Oxygen tank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, skis. Skis would be great. Yeah. Oh my God, this is these are perfect skiing conditions. <laughs> yeah. All that stuff we came came up. Oh my God, that would be. Great. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, powder days. <laughs> mm. Gordon is at ten thousand feet. Yeah. No, I think this is the highest I've ever been on foot. Highest you ever been on foot? Yeah. Oh, on foot. Yeah. No, oh, we are in DC. Yes, we are. I'm gonna get high and I'm gonna be here. <laughs> Another glorious morning here. Boy, did we have a cold night. Everything's iced up. And uh, the flow's significantly down. Just doing another water run. The uh, glacier's just over there. St. Nick. Glorious out here. And this is going to be super slippery, so this is a two-handed job. <laughs> <laughs> I only wiped the top down. <laughs> Come on, look, I think you, you, you could look at a little bit. Oh, that's like a holding it. I know. Yeah, that's probably, probably really gross. <laughs> and you know what? You you know, know, the, when you open it, well, there's a hole. I just want to say how well I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he yeah, <laughs> needs a bigger squirt. This spatial organization is very important, so when you put your foot on it, you disrupt that. And you see what's happening here, it's the basis for, it's one of the first soil forming processes. People come up here and they travel over it, 
and I've seen lots of boot prints and so on. And uh, sooner or later, it's just you know, yeah. we're, we're actually having quite an effect on the environment. Yeah. Oh, this is it. Oh, that's the that's purple walkweed. Ah. Yeah. So I think that needs more more nutrients and so on. And so you tend to find a little bit higher up. And that one back there, I'm not sure what that is. That yellow one. So you know what a lichen is? So there's two organisms that can't live without each other. So they're a symbiotic yeah. mm -hmm. relationship. And so there's algae and, and the fungi. And there are many different fungi and probably different algae. But the algae can't live out of water very easily. So it's, it's given a home. And it provides uh, nutrients that the, the fungus doesn't get access to. And together they make a lichen. And they'll actually be weathering in the rock because they produce a slightly acidic environment. Oh, so this is a tiny bit of moss camp here, but you can get them like this big. But apparently they take a long time to grow. Wow. Too bad if we were uh, whiteout conditions on Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like celebrating a summit like urinating. <laughs> what happened to a good old handshake? <laughs> That's Upper Bow Lake, right? That's Upper Bow Lake. Another glorious morning at the hut. It's the last day, sadly, of the intro course. Yeah, so we're just about to mop the floor and clean up the hut. And uh, found this guy <laughs> in a trap. And I will uh, commit it back to the earth. Really didn't get too far. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're just uh, packing up, get our good night's sleep hopefully, and then head up to Stanley Mitchell tomorrow. I'm living the dream. Just got him off the floor. <laughs> I'm at uh, 2,350 meters above sea level and uh, doing some plumbing. We did our original repair on this toilet by uh, burning some holes through and putting some screws in, but then Richard found a, a replacement seat, so I'm just about to replace the uh, seat. Lovely view though, hey? Not so much. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it is. The insect mass in agricultural areas is a tenth of what it used to be. The insect mass across the whole of Europe is pretty simple. Wow. Tree line. Hey, yo. You seen bears up here before? No, but Neil was not stopped for two or three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Neil. <laughs> oh, at the chalk stone. A bit grizzly. On the chalk stone. <laughs> Just waiting for him to come. <laughs> Around on the slope. Well, I mean, Neil's carrying 60 pounds of yummy food. I mean, <laughs> I'd stock Neil, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're here at the Delta, Bow Lake's just over there. I think we're all sad it's over. We'll all be way over there in Yoho on the other side of all this thing.